Your foreigner friends are on a visit to India, probably for a student exchange program, or they simply want to explore India. They want to know more about India. They want to see ancient Indian architecture. You take them to various places. They want to experience Indian food. You make them taste every possible Indian dish, spicy or sweet. They want to watch good Indian movies, although there aren't many, but you make them watch a few gems. Then they wonder, what do Indians consume for news? They want to know about our news channels. Well, you switch on the television and... Hello, Mr. Because I'll tell you why. Because I'll tell you why. You hear me? Then I'll tell you why. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Then you stop. I'll tell you why. I can't shout over you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, Mr. Pajan. Indian media is not something we can be proud of. The kind of media we see today has been under construction for years. Moreover, Indian media has reached a point where it has literally become toxic for citizens. It is brainwashing citizens and has turned the entire country into an army of zombies who are dead souls and do not possess the ability to think critically. So here's FMF's new video, analyzing what exactly is wrong with the Indian media and what we can do about it. When was the last time you actually enjoyed watching a good documentary from an Indian media company? Why do Indians have to rely on BBC, Discovery, National Geographic, History Channel or Netflix to watch proper documentaries? Forget about well-made documentaries. All we get from private media companies is low-quality content on our television. Why does this all happen? Why do they choose to do this? The answer is simple. TRPs and the low effort required. The lust for high ratings or TRPs has turned Indian media into a fish market. People just shout at the top of their voices to garner more attention. Whoever has your attention has more TRPs. Higher ratings give them more advertisers, which means more money. Making money is great, but the problem arises when the Indian media sensationalizes random things for the sake of TRPs. In the quest for high TRPs, they manufacture sensational stories out of nothing. This gives birth to conspiracy theories and fake news. One such story becomes a hit, and multiple media houses keep on repeating the same thing again and again. In this process, the media houses make money, but the people are brainwashed beyond measure. Another reason why they do it is simple. It's very easy to do this kind of journalism. Think about it. Making a proper report or a documentary requires a lot of resources, effort and money. Even after one makes it, the general audience in India does not really like such content. Exactly how the Indian audience prefers shit movies and ignores good cinema. It is a vicious cycle. This new format of debates requires low effort and gives the media companies higher ratings. Well, what more do they need? If making money would be so easy, why would a corporate entity even bother to invest their time and effort in making something valuable? All they need to do is hire an energetic anchor who has the ability to shout for hours. Earlier, genuine news was read by professional people. The role of these people was to look presentable and provide information to the audience. But what is happening right now? These people have been replaced by anchors. These anchors are not knowledgeable. These people are merely actors. Their role is to shout, pretend to hold debates, and present themselves as if they know everything. They rarely step out of their air-conditioned studios, and all they do is act in front of the camera. The audience thinks they are listening to genuine people with knowledge and starts taking these anchors seriously. This is how these anchors have become opinion makers, and the most famous among them is Arnab Goswami. If there is one person who is controlling the narrative of India since 2014, it is Arnab Goswami. Arnab's shot to fame was his interview with Rahul Gandhi in which he virtually destroyed Rahul Gandhi. Arnab has literally set the trend for the anchors and his channel has set the trend for the channels. We all know how in India if one type of thing succeeds, the rest of the crowd starts doing the exact same thing. 
Well, Arnab has invented the kind of journalism we see all around us today, the debate journalism, where he sits in a studio, calls people and shouts. It's all an act he puts up. He knows he's an actor, but the thing is, this overdosage of Arnab Goswami has turned the entire country like him. India in general gets influenced by media a lot. People see Shah Rukh Khan romancing in the movies and they start copying the same type of romance. They like a cricketer, they start keeping the cricketer's hairstyle and copy his attitude. India is very susceptible to being brainwashed by the media. Similarly, the effect of Arnab Goswami on the country and its people is a matter of study. You can literally see Arnab's effect in popular culture. It is good that Arnab Goswami is earning money from what he does. It is a matter of his livelihood after all. But the problem arises when people start to emulate Arnab in real life. Our country and the people are now starved of genuine information and facts. People have forgotten what news is supposed to be like. All they are fed is non-news and fake news. More than that, their mind has been completely colonized by the mindless debates on television. They have become robots. Questions or genuine thinking abilities have gone for a toss. All we have are a bunch of people with dead souls repeating the same thing that has been fed to them on television. Many people feel that the alternative to this kind of journalism are channels like NDTV and websites like The Wire, The Quint, Scroll, etc. etc. But many people also consider the new media problematic at times. All their genuine information, all their factual essays go in vain when they behave like this. What has the chairman not come? Normally when something goes wrong, the chairman comes to announce all this. Why is the chairman not here? Things like the unnecessary labeling of the movie on surgical strike as hypertoxic nationalism is the reason why the audience has turned away from the new media. Even Anurag Kashyap had defended the movie when it had come out. If you respect yourself as a human being, you deserve to know the truth. Your brain needs real information. You deserve to get good quality content on your television. There is a solution to all this. And we all can do this to make our country better. Stop giving attention to mindless debates until they improve themselves. They are adding nothing, literally nothing valuable to your knowledge bank, this country or your life. Reject them totally until they get better. Just a few years ago, people on social media had revolted against the pathetic and mindless Bollywood movies we used to get. Well, after that, Bollywood certainly has improved and there have been better movies which raise good issues, entertain and enlighten people. They are still not the best, but are way better than the mindless masala flicks. This is what is to be done to television as well. You are paying money for the subscriptions to these channels after all. It is the same as buying a movie ticket. Just unsubscribe or reject them until they improve themselves and genuinely give you good quality content. A documentary as rich in knowledge and information as a documentary on Netflix. In short, the Indian media is making you all brain dead and you need to do two things. Wake people up from the zombie state they are in and secondly, teach a lesson to the Indian media which is directly responsible for turning people into lifeless zombies. Subscribe to this channel and share this video with as many people as possible. Keep watching FMF for more such content ahead.